Good morning, everyone. Lisa Gustafson with Cool FM Live, and we are at Hummingbird Senior Resort Living with my dear friend, Miss Pam. How are you today, Pam? I'm great. How are you doing, Lisa? Good. You guys have something exciting going on today that Linda is going to tell us about. Um, Linda is with Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child. She is a volunteer and she is going to talk to us about what the residents here at Hummingbird are doing to get these boxes ready. Now, Linda, first of all, tell me a little bit about Operation Christmas Child. Hey, Operation Christmas Child um, has been going since about 1992. Um, we um, collect items for shoe boxes for kids. Uh, little things, uh, what we call a wow gift, uh, like a stuffed animal or um, a bucket of goodies. Um, different things all like, kinds of stuff. Different things, different uh, things like toothbrushes, that. Toothbrushes, um, some hygiene items, some toys. And tell me where these boxes go, Miss Linda. They go all over the world. Um, we have 170 countries that they can be shipped to. Okay. We don't always know where they're going. All so, right. Uh, quite often it is a uh, it can be a country that isn't allowed to let us sure. uh, share where they're at. So. Two kids definitely in need. Definitely. And, and I think it's safe to say that sometimes these boxes are the only gifts that they ever get. That they get. Mm -hmm. So for them to receive a box that has a doll, that's got some extra toys in here, that's a big deal for them. And I think a lot of times we forget about that and we take that for granted. Definitely. Um, all of the gifts that we usually, you know, are able to put under our Christmas tree. And it takes a lot of work to put these boxes together, doesn't it? It does. A and labor we have, of love. <laughs> we have a lot of people here that just jump right in. And uh, we did this once before in June. We're doing it again right now because we're getting ready to do the shipment of boxes off to the other countries. So that'll be the week of November 18th. Okay. And um, we are we are also promoting uh, the the uh, Christian aspect of it. So we pray over all the different boxes. We um, send them out. Um, to California where they're inspected so that they'll go through customs easily <laughs> and that can be a challenge. So sure. Like this year, we're, we're still putting soap in them this year. Next year we won't be allowed to. Oh, so goodness. It, they're always coming up with a reason that the customs are going to hold up the boxes. Well, we want all things to be positive. We want all these boxes to make it to where they need to go. Yes. And if somebody wants to get involved in either donate items or do a packing party like you have here at Hummingbird, how would they go about getting involved? Is follow the link that we provided or what's the best way? The link is great um, or they can contact uh, myself or one of our team members. Um, we're listed in there as well. My name is Linda Huffman. Uh, my number is on my card, which so it, it's 303-949-5104. And that is a Colorado number, but I do live here now. So, <laughs> oh, we, all, we all have those have different to, numbers. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of people not sure who it is, so I want to make sure they know that. Um, that's that's, yeah. that's great. No, we. I am very happy that you came down here. So you bring all the stuff, right? And you walk me through the process. So every child gets an item out of the buckets over here, right? Right. And we have some other volunteers. Hello, ladies. Hi guys. And we are gonna we're gonna talk to Miss Elizabeth over here. I'm gonna step over here and. and <laughs> <laughs> and then she's not letting this one go. We'll get back to you, Linda. Okay. All right, what's your name? Uh, this is your son. Yeah, yeah. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on. Join in on the fun. Give me your name. I'm Jennifer Honeyka. I'm the Activities Director here at Hummingbird. And you helped put some of this together. Um, and... Yes, this is kind of like a year-round project for us. We've been working on the crayons and the jump ropes throughout the year. 
And then this is our second packing party. And this is your son. This is my son. And Andrew. he came to take her, what's his name? Uh, Andrew. Andrew. How old are you, Andrew? Fifteen. Fifteen? You didn't know you were going to be doing all this fun <laughs> stuff today, huh? All right, I won't keep you in this, in the, put you in the spot too much longer, but we did want to say hello to you guys. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Andrew. You've been a... You've, He's and, been. And, Andrew is Mr. Muscles for he, me. Mr. Muscles <laughs> for you. Muscles. Oh, my and, goodness. Andrew is the kind of a guy that no matter what kind of event is here, he's helping. See? That's and and he's helping that. to do what we can. <laughs> we're a bunch of old people, but we're still alive. And we still have thoughts, and we still like to do things. And when we have an occasion, like we've recently had Halloween stuff here, lots of fun, lots of people. And that's when you see a guy like Andrew, you go, hey, good looking, I need some help. <laughs> and, and Andrew is one person who always says, yes, I'll help. See? Well, and that, that's, thank you he, that. he not only is cute as a heck, because he's got these darling little dimples, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's a helpful, wonderful young man. And one of the things that we have here at, Honey, at Hummingbird is family. That's Whether true. Whether they're really related to you, or whether they're somebody else's kid, they're going to help. They are. Andrew, you've got a, you've got a lifetime friend here, don't you? <laughs> Not only that, somebody who thinks he's outstanding, and I get a chance to watch other people's families grow up. I would like so, to show you one of the things that I did. Tell me about this, Elizabeth. Okay. Because you you helped put you these boxes to together. Andrew's like, thank goodness, Elizabeth has released me. <laughs> thank you, Andrew. Now, Elizabeth, you helped pack these boxes. Yes, absolutely. Tell me, tell me what you have here. Okay, what this is is strange looking. When they look like some uh, like what, uh, peanut butter cups. It? That's right. That's just is this that. to eat? That, no, 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 no. Please don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What is it? Okay. What it is? You, I have six kids. Okay. Okay. I was a Girl Scout leader. I. It was a 4-H leader. I, I've done a lot with kids. One of the things you get with kids is broken crayons. Yes. What do you do with your broken crayons? You throw them together in a... Uh, it's a little uh, a muffin tin. Yeah, it's a, a muffin cup. A cupcake holder, and, okay. And you, put them in, and you put a bunch of pieces in, and then you melt them at 200 degrees, and then later you have this, and if I... Could break this, I bet I can't. Now see, now that's where Let's I see need. if I don't know if I can. That's where we need Andrew. Andrew, oh, yeah. oh, oh got okay. it. There okay, go. okay. <laughs> so, so when you when you break them like that, you've got a nice straight edge, but it makes many colors, and it's almost impossible to duplicate again. Sure. So, so you take a piece of paper and you make a little scribble, and then you say, "Can you do this?" And the kid says, "Of course, I can do that." Well, no, they can't. <laughs> but they can't do it. So, and this is all from broken crayons. Yeah, yeah. And that, you go from, and you make trash. these. Okay, see, let's what, see. What we need to Let me see this here. What we need in this world is a way to use trash. So if you go here, and then you go a little further, and you get more colors. You're right. Look, yes. there's oh. a different color yeah, every know. time. Yes. You're right. Yes. Different and, color. Th ah. This this is part of the amazement <laughs> of playing around, <laughs> right? And, and You're like Lisa, things, put the crayons down. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and one of the things that's so great is teaching children possibilities from break, broken from crayons. Anything. That's amazing. And and that's how life needs to be. So now, as I got involved with this about forty years ago. And I, we were attending a church in Sonoida. We had just we had been down here about ten years, and they had somebody who came and said, "We want to have this to, to give other children the opportunity to expand themselves," and that to me is exactly what this whole thing does. I agree. You get a box, and the box has things that you never could get. You're right. You don't get you know again all different items in the yes. boxes, but again yes. these kids would have would have nothing. Um, well, and so this it, is it, very important to them. Yes. It's not that other people are deprived and we're being nice and we're giving stuff. <laughs> it's like sharing so that we can all expand. Yes. We're all colors of the rainbow, so we use all the different colors and crayons. I love that. Yes. I love that analogy, Elizabeth. So it, it's a special treat. To, to fill the boxes with Christmas stuff. Of course. And they have yo-yos. They're and they all have, different, yeah. Yes, and they have all kinds of stuff. 
And here at Hummingbird, we have all kinds of people. You're right. We have some in their, I, I guess I would say 50s. If somebody with a chronic disease is 50 and they can't quite do it at home, you got to go someplace. I'm 92. I've been a widow for 20 years. For 20 years, I lived by myself. It's terrible. You live by yourself. You can't hold talk to yourself so much. But then you came here. And I have had a ball. <laughs> I love it here. I absolutely love it here. I don't have to plan meals. I don't have to shop. I don't have to prepare. And most of all, I don't have to clean up. I love that. I'm moving in. I want to move in here, yeah. right? Yeah. Sure. And, and we, have, we have people who have limitations. Sure. You know, I cannot tap dance. You can't. I never learned to tap dance. And believe me, at this age, you wouldn't want to see me try. <laughs> okay. But the point is, if there is somebody who likes to do it, that's great. And we've got people who are in their 70s and plus who come and dance, who come and entertain and bring us joy. That's what it... The ability to have joy, the ability to every morning say, hey... Great deal. I'm still here for another day. And that's what it's all about, Elizabeth. And that, that really is what it's about. I am blessed. I have had, I guess, good genes. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I sure as hell eat. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> but this is a great place. Had I known about this, I would have been here the day it was over. <laughs> well, you can't you can't get a better testimonial than that. And Did you pay her, by I the way? No, what's going on here? Where did you find her? I know, it's funny because Elizabeth is always here. Yeah. Um, and she was here last time yeah. that we were here. And we just love talking to her. And you can bet we're going to be out here wishing her a happy birthday next month. But Pam, I love this. I love coming in here. I love all the activities you do. Tell people how they could get in touch with you if they are interested in scheduling a tour. Oh, sure. You can either reach out on our website or give me a call directly at 520-220-7856. Or a lot of people just like to walk in, so please feel free to do that. We'd love to show you around and see what we can do yeah. to offer. And you are located in what used to be the old... Windermere Hotel, you can't it. miss it, you guys. It's right across the street from the mall. Come in if you have any um, questions at all. You guys take care of memory care, um, assisted living. Uh, tell me all the services. Sure, we do independent living, assisted living, and memory care. But what we really do here is enrich the lives of our senior adults. Heck when they yes. Get I, to that age. There you go. That is true. We're not going to have foot races. And, uh, <laughs> there are so many things that we can do. My one disappointment was the pool because I'm a swimmer. I'm a water walker. And I, do the, I, use, I have to use a cove, and that gets interesting because they do not have transportation. They're nice enough to get me Uber, but Uber is its own challenge. <laughs> And you don't want me talking about that. <laughs> don't worry, we've got ways we're, around it. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of you, Elizabeth. <laughs> you get a blank hand. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't. What I want to say. Oh. About forty years ago, we went to the Snorri Bible Church, and they were doing these boxes for Christmas, and they said, if you want to, you, you can put your name and address in there, and you might get a note or a picture from a child someplace in the world. Did you So I, I, of course, did it. I was thinking, I'll have a pen pal sure. for my grandchildren, right? Oh, that didn't happen. I did get a request for four uh, baby goats. And then I got a request for some <laughs> lambs. And then I got a request for some chicken. And then I got a request for some other fishing equipment, something. And what these are is, is women basically, I guess, I don't care if the guys are using the equipment too, but it's, it's if, if a mama can have something that she can raise a little bit of money, she can help her own family. You help a woman, she helps her family. And so uh, it was started, I believe, by Billy Graham and his son, Franklin, now does it. And it has enabled all of us to extend our love, our feelings of good, and help others. You didn't send them any goats, did you? Yeah, did you send I, the chickens? You, you I, didn't? I, no, I, I sent the money. 
Oh, oh. he's in a bunny. Okay. <laughs> I suppose you could send some eggs. Oh my if goodness! You're gonna... Oh my goodness! You're gonna no, have to keep no, your no, eye I, on I, this I one. I have to tell you, what they wanted to do was buy. They wanted me to pay for it. They didn't want me to send the crap. Oh, my <laughs> anyway, oh, okay. my, my guys is so much fun. But see, just like that, in the semantics of that, in the words of that, you can take it one way or you can take it another way. And I was. Please, as punch for somebody to say, if if I get twelve dollars American money, I can buy this. Yeah. If I get sixteen dollars, I could get that. And then knowing that each one helps somebody else, and that's what we all do is in, in life. While we're here, whether you're at Hummingbird, whether you're sitting at home, if you're extending yourself, you receive also. I mean, we're all so darn blessed that we don't even know it. That you're, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and somebody, thank like, thank somebody you. like Andrew, <laughs> I, when I see him here at another occasion, I, I, I yank him in. And, and I have to tell you, uh, for Easter, I got a little knock on the door and said, the Easter bunny would like to bring you a, an Easter egg. I said, how wonderful. And this three-year-old comes hip-hopping into the room and brought me an Easter egg. And right behind the three-year-old was the five-year-old big brother, make a damn well sure <laughs> that she was going to do this properly. And and it was, God, it was so you, classic. You have fun here. It, it was so classic. You just had to embrace him and say, thank you for this gift. Yeah. That, thank you for sharing with me. And the Easter Bunny was delighted that she could just bring joy. <laughs> That's what it's about. Bring in joy. That's what you do, <laughs> right? True. You for all of your residents here, clearly your staff, everybody. Um, we want to thank you for inviting us out today. We'll be back again for sure next month. Anything, Miss Elizabeth? I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for reminding us that we we all we all should spread joy. So I'll tell you what, we will always be here at Hummingbird Senior Resort living to spread some joy and talk to Miss Pam. And thank you guys for watching. Elizabeth, I would like thank to, you. Can I say something? <laughs> oh, oh, you got something more you to say? You have more. Oh, she okay. has more well, to sure. say. <laughs> of course you can say something. What would you like to say? Okay. <laughs> I used to be in the Hummingbird uh, quilt group here and, and was in that for a long time. And there are a lot of quilters with a lot of talent in this town. Mm. And we're looking forward to having something here, a Christmas craft sale. And the, there are people who have, we don't want big items. You know, who wants a quilt for a king size bed? This is not what you bring. <laughs> but small things. Uh, here's my walker. Okay. Uh -huh. See what's on the front of my walker. I, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, and and that they is took a so pair of jeans handy. and yes. made it into a purse. Yes. yes. And an old pair of jeans is one of the <laughs> handiest things in the world. And uh, because in the back you've got all kinds Pocket. of pockets. Look at that. <laughs> Well, we, I, I even have a safety well, pin. So it's a jean pocket purse. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It is. There well, you that's go. That's clever, actually. Very yeah. clever. Yeah, very well, clever. It's, that's what those it's, are. it's something that you can utilize again, yeah. something you were going to throw away. Yeah, Make true. something yeah. out of. But uh, anybody who's interested, who has crafts, needs to get a hold of Pam. That's right. Because she's the person putting together the, the Christmas. Uh, and, and it will be for the residents to buy things, and the general public of Sierra Vista will be invited in. Can I also say how wonderful the Halloween party was? <laughs> you know, what? here's what I know. I know that you are amazing, Elizabeth. I love chatting with you every time. You are going to have us out here for the craft fair. We're going to be out here so much more. We love when you have us come down here. And Elizabeth loves chatting with all of us all the time. We thank you for that. Pam. You're amazing. I love you. You help us. I have all this joy in my heart now from Miss Elizabeth. So, thank you guys so much. Take a watch. Uh, if you can support the uh, Operation Christmas Child in any way, all the links are there and make a difference in a child's life. Thanks, Pam. Thank you. Can we do a commercial? <laughs> oh my oh, lord! Thank we are so going to have to do that too. Huh?